would Jesus have gotten sick? What type of immunity would Jesus have had to sickness and pathogens and disease? Hi, Alex McFarland here. Welcome to this, this edition of Truth for New Generation. You know, I got a question on the radio about two days ago, and it's understandable that a question like this would arise in the age of COVID and masks and quarantines. Somebody called in and asked, what would Jesus uh, have been like in the age of a pandemic. So let's talk about this. And this is speculative. I mean, anything we're saying here is theoretical, but I will do my best briefly to try to draw some possible conclusions within the bounds of scripture and logic and what we know. Okay, when we're talking about Jesus, we're talking about the incarnation. Christians believe that God enfleshed himself. God took on a human body, came down here to earth, and was therefore qualified to pay for our sins on the cross. Now, scholars use a big 85-cent word called a hypostatic union. And what that means is that within Jesus Christ were two natures, fully God and fully man, but not fallen man. But now listen to this. In Hebrews chapter 2, verse 17, it said that Jesus was made in every way like his brothers. Now, Christ had no sin nature. He was divine and he was qualified, therefore, to be our sin bearer on Calvary's cross. But I believe, and I think most scholars would concur, that the baby Jesus uh, needed a diaper change growing up. I think about this. Max Licato said this. I want to read this quote, and then we'll talk about the, the likelihood of Jesus being vulnerable to sickness or something like that. Max Licato said, quote, Jesus... The teenager may have had pimples. He may have been tone deaf. Perhaps a girl down the street would have had a crush on him or vice versa. He was, though completely divine, also completely human. That was from Max Licata's book, God Came Near. Now, what I'm about to say is speculative. But uh, Adam and Eve, the question is this. Think about this. Because uh, Jesus was non-fallen had no sin nature. Here's a question. Could Adam and Eve, before the fall of Genesis 3, have gotten sick? Could perfect people in a non-fallen state have been vulnerable to disease? Well, I believe that part of the, uh, the gene mutations, birth defects, poisons, pathogens, toxins in the air, that's part of the fall and part of the curse. Christ came into the world, Galatians 4, 4 says, born under the law, born of a woman, to redeem those that were fallen. Now, I think that Jesus probably could have gotten a cold, could have gotten sick, merely because he was the Son of God does not necessarily mean that he had an immune system that would have prevented him from ever having an illness. Now, we know, listen carefully, though fully divine, though the Son of God, he wasn't completely invulnerable. Why? He said from the cross, I thirst. Uh, he was hungry 40 days in the wilderness, tempted of the devil. And of course, he wasn't completely invincible because he was put to death on a cross. So while Jesus was perfect in every way, in the eyes of the Father, righteous. And if you believe in Christ, the Bible says that his righteousness is attributed to you. That's Romans 4, very beautiful. 2 Corinthians 5, 21. He who knew no sin was made to be sin for us. Uh, could Jesus have gotten sick? Possibly. But getting sick is not a sin. Falling, falling prey to an illness, that's not a sin. Uh, and the good news is, though, we do know this. This definitively we can say. Christ is our healer. Not only that, for all who believe, our Redeemer. Well, that's an interesting question. I want to thank you for sending that in. And I want to encourage you, please share this on your social media platforms. And stay tuned to all that we're doing. You can find us online on Truth for a New Generation, Rev. Alex McFarland on Facebook, and then, of course, the website, alexmcfarland.com. I truly thank you for watching. Thank you for your prayers and your involvement. May God bless you as you stand strong for truth.